Hi third graders and welcome back to the word study video for this week. We are looking at green sort number nine in which we're going to be taking a look at some verbs and we're going to be doing something called conjugating them. Conjugating verbs means changing them from present to past um, and to future when we get there. So for this word sort, there's going to be kind of two different sections. So we're going to start where we have the base verb. We just add an S, or we just add an ED, or we just add an ING. And then the second part is when we have to kind of change the base word before we add the S, ED, and ING. So before we get started, go ahead and um, in a minute you're going to pause the video so you write the title you write the kind of the four categories going across and you put the date in the top right hand corner. Okay, go ahead and pause the video so that you can do that. All right, now that your notebook looks like mine, Zeus, come here. I'm worried he's gonna bark again. And I apologize for these weird shadows. It's getting dark out outside. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with our base word. Our base word is simply the verb all by itself. So for the first one, it's going to be the verb to play. Okay, play becomes plays by adding an S. She plays the violin. To make it in the past, we write, oh, I should have also said that all of these um, base words are going to end with Y. In this first section, they are going to end with the AY. So play, for the verb to, we just need to add the S, we keep the Y and add ED, and we keep the Y and add ING. We do this because it has the verb right, in, or not the verb right in front of it, the vowel right in front of it. So play becomes plays, played and playing simply by adding the S, E, D, and I, N, G to your base word play. So you'll notice you keep play in all of these verbs. Another example is stay. That's your base verb. Stay becomes stays by adding, writing stay and writing the S. Stay becomes stayed by putting stay and then an ed and stay becomes staying by writing stay and then putting ing. Same for the word spray. Since it has the ay or it has the vowel before the y, we just write the base word spray and then add the ending. So sprays sprayed and spraying, spraying. So this again is the first section where the base word ends with A-Y. But what happens when your base word doesn't end with A-Y and it simply ends with Y with no vowel in front of it? So we're going to write our headings again. We're going to have our base word, and in this case, it's the verb that ends with Y. This time, you're going to have to add the ES, and then instead of S up here, ED and ING. So let's take a look at an example. Again, the base verb is going to end with the Y, like in the word fry. Now this is the case when the Y is the vowel. Notice there's no other vowels in the word, so Y becomes the vowel. When this happens, in order for fry to become fries, you have to change the Y to an I and then add ES. Same thing for fry to become fried. We change the Y to an I and add ED. Now, just to be tricky, to add ING, we keep the Y 
and put I-N-G. So again, this can be very confusing because sometimes we change the Y to an I and sometimes we don't have to. Here, we don't have to at all because um, all the word all the words end. Zeus is about to bark like crazy. Yep, I called it. Zeus, excuse me. Our neighbor was outside, so he felt the need to bark. So let me say that again. Up here, we don't have to change any of the Y's to I's because there's already a vowel here with the A. Down here, we don't have a vowel in front of the A. So to make it, to add the S or to make it in the past, we have to change the Y to an I before we add ES and ED. Let's look at another example in this category. The word cry. Since there's no other vowel in here, Y is your vowel. So to make cry cries, we change the Y to an I and then add ES. Same thing for cried. We change the Y to an I, then add ED. However, when we add ING, since it already has the I, we can keep the Y before putting ING. So we see all of cry and fry. All right, the last example, we have the base word spy. It does not have another vowel, so Y is the vowel. So for spy to become spies, we change the Y to an I and add ES. For spy to become spied in the past, we change the Y to an I, then we add ED. The last one to make spy, spying, we keep the Y, then we add ING. We do this because in English, we don't like two I's together. We don't really know how to say that. And if we don't, if we just drop the Y, we would read that as sping. So that's why we need the Y because the ing goes with the ing family to make its own sound. So we need that Y to have spy say it's, say the base word for it to be spy ing. I hope that was clear. If you have any questions, you're more than welcome to ask me in class. So go ahead and make sure you have this all copied down and that you're ready for the test on Friday.